Most companies do pricing and they do it wrong. Partly because historically, many companies just don't spend a lot of time thinking about pricing. This is the last thing they think about before they launch their products. So typically, they literally pluck the number from the air. So they say, well, the price has to be somewhere here, and they just set the price that way. And so there are a lot of room for improvements because they have done it wrong for many, many years. And I think the last 10 years or so, people begin to realize that this is a problem area they should be focusing on. There's a lot of money left on the table because they've done it wrong in the past. Pricing can really make or break a company. Let me give you an example. I was involved in a consulting project with a company, and this company historically has been making $300 million a year. So with this uh, revised pricing strategy they are adopting from my consulting project, they are able to make 10% more. That means $30 million more profit every single year moving forward. The class is designed to be very hands-on and practical. I actually encourage my students to bring their pricing problem to the classroom. They will share it with the class and we actually apply on the spot. In fact, uh, in the last pricing program, we have a th this thing called pricing clinic where company participants will bring their pricing problem and they will present it to the class. And the class participants will form into a consulting team, mini consulting team, real time. And they will apply the concept they learned in the last two or three days from the professors, apply it to the problem at hand and try to solve the pricing problem. Adobe, for example, have a pricing problem. They were interested in selling a piece of software in emerging market like China and India. And obviously, uh, the consumers and customers in, in China and India are not prepared to pay a high price like the U.S. customers. What should their price be in, when they go to a global market like China and India? In that pricing exercise, the pricing clinic, they figure out a way to do it right. They figure out a way to measure customers' willingness to pay in those emerging markets. They figure out a way to set price properly in those global markets. So in a way, they have a very clear takeaway. They solve their pricing problem by participating in the pricing program. The way I, I frame the pricing program is this. It's a return on investment uh, for the program. In my, in my view, this is probably could be the highest ROI program that you'll ever take. Because at the end of the pricing program, you're going to actually change the price for your company. You're going to help the company make a lot of money as a consequence of that. So many times we, we go for a training program. At the end, you learn some soft skill. You learn something that makes you a better manager. But this one is not. It, it solves a business problem for you. You go back, you change your price, you make a lot more money. And to me, this is the biggest payoff that the pricing program gave you. It's a very concrete, measurable benefit that you can have at the end of the pricing program.